If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question yourself before listening on. What we're going to do is draw a free body diagram for the top block. And this is going to be before the objects are being accelerated. Now, as described in the question, there is a 12 Newton force that's being exerted on the top block. And at the moment, just before it slips, there is a force that's acting against that 12 Newton force and is preventing the block from slipping. And so what we can see from this free body diagram is that the maximum static frictional force on the top block is going to be the 12 Newtons. Anything greater than the 12 Newtons would cause the top block to slip. So hopefully it's clear that F sub S is going to equal 12 Newtons. Okay, so once that's established, we move on to the next part of the question. So now there is some applied force that's causing this system of blocks to accelerate. Notice from the picture that that applied force is only applied on MB, technically. So what's causing the top block to accelerate is that maximum 12 Newton static frictional force. Now, according to Newton's second law, the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. We can see in the horizontal direction that the sum of the forces would just be the 12 Newtons. The mass of the top block was given to us as 4 kilograms. And so we can actually easily solve for the acceleration of the top block just by dividing both sides of this equation by 4. Now, it's important to notice that the acceleration of the top block is the same as the acceleration of the bottom block because they're accelerating together as a system. So not only can we use this acceleration value for the top block, we can use it for the bottom block. And we're actually going to turn to a free body diagram of the bottom block next. So on the bottom block, we have the gravitational force acting directly on the bottom block. We also have the weight of the top block pressing down on the bottom block. There's a normal force pressing up. But what's really important is to notice this force right here, this 12 Newtons. Remember, on the top block, we had said that there's a 12 Newton force exerting to the right on that block, which is causing it to accelerate. Now, according to Newton's third law, if there is a contact force of 12 Newtons acting on the top block, there is an equivalent contact force acting on the bottom block, but in the opposite direction. So for the bottom block, we can say that the 12 Newtons is acting on the left side of the diagram. The unknown force is marked as F. We're going to go ahead and apply Newton's second law once again, but this time to the bottom block. Now, remember, the acceleration we discovered was 3 meters per second squared, so we can fill that in. And then once we simplify the right side and add the 12 over to the other side, we end up with F equaling 27 newtons. So this is the correct answer to part A. And then again, part B, the acceleration of the two block system was 3 meters per second squared. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon. Also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for other videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.